know, Tennessee, this, they're a great team, and this felt like a little bit what could be a trap match with having a huge win Tuesday against Wisconsin and leaving tomorrow to go to Penn State, who also beat Tennessee this weekend. So proud of the way we fought and um, that we did a really nice job over the entirety of the match. Dean, that's what, expound on that a little bit. What does that say about this group and you feel like it's leadership because it very well could have been an easy trap kind of game? Yeah, I, I think it's a lot of leadership. Um, but I, I think it's more just the mindset of this team of working uh, to get better each match. And we're in a little bit of a unique system for Louisville, and we know it takes a lot of practice. And so just not taking advantage of um, every opportunity we have to improve. Charity, what, in, in order to do that, what was it or what do you feel like it is about this group that you could kind of forget about the other night, not worry about tomorrow, and, and, and take care of business here today and come out starting strong? Um, I think it's just everyone having confidence in each other. Um, you know, whenever something doesn't go, let's say, my way, um, I know that I can trust my teammates and I know I can look at them for almost reassurance and just a fact that, you know, it's going to be okay and then for, to forget about that point and to move on. Um, you know, I look them in the eyes and they trust me and I trust them. So it's just the fact that everyone has confidence in each other and it really helps just each player on the court. Danny, when you're in a match like this, you, you guys have been in a lot of big matches over the last few years, but when you're in one like this in your home and you've got a good crowd, a good atmosphere, how key is it to get something early going like you did? You really just want to take advantage of, yes, being at home, but having a great crowd and get the crowd into it. I felt like we were playing a little bit slow, and once we started playing our tempo, the crowd was super lively, and not only just for our team and momentum-wise, but, you know, we want – all these fans to be dying to come back to see us. So I think by the end of that, they were pretty impressed. And to go on to that, you've talked about it before, but you get a crowd like this in here on a, on a holiday weekend, on a Sunday afternoon. It's It says something, A, about what you've done, where, where this program is, but you want them to come back now. And it's it, you gave them something to come back for, don't you feel like? Oh, for sure. And you know, we have some really huge matches. We're going to need them for sure um, as the season goes along. Do you, how do you feel different this year, maybe now, than what you were at the end of last year and in, 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 in doing your thing out there? Um, I think I feel or I have a bit more confidence on the court. And like Charity said, even when I don't feel like my best or like I'm playing my best, everybody's there to back me up and pick up where I'm lacking. So I feel like that and just um, – <laughs> sorry. What, what do you feel like the next step now? What's the next step to, to getting even better? Even better? I don't know. I think expanding my, like, toolkit of, like, shots and everything and being more court aware and growing my uh, volleyball IQ will really help me a lot because uh, I'd say I'm a physical player. I don't know. But I feel like when I uh, can mentally develop as much as I physically am right now, I'll be growing a lot more. Final thing for me, but for both the players and then Danny, if you could answer too, it doesn't get any easier. Now you do go on the road for a really big match. What's kind of the challenge and maybe what is what, is, what do you have to do mentally to, to kind of now put these two behind you? Um, to mentally put these two teams behind us is honestly just think about one game at a time. That's what I try to tell my teammates is, yeah, we have – we had a big win on Tuesday. We had a big win today. But we had Penn State next on Tuesday. So, you know, you just got to take it one game at a time. And at the end, obviously, we want to be here in December, but we won't be there if we don't take each game one at a time. So um, that's just the mindset that we have is going in each game, being gritty, you know, starting strong from the start and not filling them out, you know, is putting our foot on the gas right then and there. And then everything will just fall into place. Thank you.